Millie, Stephen. What, Percy? What is it? I just saw Connor and Caitlin disappear. What? What's this about Connor and Caitlin disappearing? Oh, Gordon. So, looks like you're back from the works. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> What's this about Connor and Caitlin? Connor and Caitlin disappeared. What? They disappeared? <sighs> yeah, said Percy. <sighs> oh, yeah, just like that time you saw that dragon. Right, Percy. Let's go with that. No, I'm being serious. I believe you, Percy. Oh, Stephen. Huh. <laughs> Did you hit your head on the way down or something? Of Gordon. Because, uh, um, Percy saw a dragon once. It wasn't real. It was real. Hm. Huffed Gordon. Wait, oh, Millie, you mean Connor and Caitlin disappeared? <gasps> They're gone! They're gone! The what, Millie? What do you. Millie, what are you doing? <laughs> Millie! Uh, Millie, Millie, Millie. <sighs> Connor and Caitlin? Gone? Oh no. Millie, Millie, Millie. Oh, relax, Millie. No, I can't relax. Oh, <laughs> Connor and Caitlin gone. Don't worry, said Steven. <clears throat> I can throw an awesome party. Oh yeah, look at me. Um, throwing an awesome glow-in-the-dark party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Who's jealous now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You realize, Steven, that may be tempting, but I am not coming out there. Oh, you wouldn't pass the party. No, I wouldn't. Oh yeah, boogie, boogie, boogie. Ah, hey, Sir Tavern Hat. Hey, Sir Robert, what are you guys doing here? Oh, we're just checking out this party you have here. Oh yeah, glow in the dark with flashing lights. Hmm, <laughs> love this theme. Ah, but what are we gonna do about Connor and Caitlin? Whoa. This doesn't look like Sutter at all. It's very, very strange and green here, to say the least. Hmm. Oh, there's Frank! Connor, Connor, Connor! What, Caitlin? There's Frank, look! Let's go talk to him, maybe he knows where we are. Frank, hello! Uh, who are you guys? Uh, remember? We're Connor and Caitlin. Who are Connor and Caitlin? Are you engines from the mainland? Uh, no. We live at a castle on the Earl's estate. Uh, there is... What? Wait, what'd you say? We live on castle on the Earl's estate. Did you just say you live in a castle? <laughs> oh, 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 you're funny. There's no castles around here, princess. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you guys are funny. Uh, did you hit your head on the way back from the mainland? What? We are not mainline engines. We're not from the mainland, okay? Uh, <laughs> well, I have no idea who, go who you guys are. Oh, wait, Frank, 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 what are you doing here? <laughs> Why are you being rude to these engines without me being rude to Mike, what are you doing here? I was trying to insult these engines. Well, I want to salt too. <sighs> Anyways, you two um, engines who are doing, I don't know what here, can go scram off. <laughs> Good one, Mike. <laughs> Come on, Connor. Let's go. Connor and Caitlin were puffing down the line. On their way, they saw some other engines puffing down the line as they puffed into a station. Hey, look, it's Nafford, puffed Caitlin. Oh, said Connor. But why is there sheds behind? There isn't sheds usually behind here. This usually leads to the other branch lines. The two engines were confused. Why are there sheds behind Natford Station here? Oh, um, that's because there's always sheds behind here. Oh, you engines are here from the mainland. Why does everyone think we're from the mainland? We live on the Earl's estate. <gasps> oh my gosh. Boko, get these engines out of here. Sorry, um, huffed a green diesel. Uh...
she can be a little, mm, let's say, okay, you know that thing in your head that tells you not to say stuff? Well, she doesn't have that. Boko, uh, get these engines out of here. Um, we're from the, we're from Sodor. Well, this is Sodor, too. Hmm. Oh, there's that engine. He's from the mainland. Maybe he knows you guys. Wait, what? What? Uh, uh. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, um, uh, I don't know them. Uh, come on, bucko. Uh, it's getting late. We have to go to sleep. Daisy? Ser uh, seriously, Daisy? Uh, uh, it's getting dark. Uh, make it go away. Oh, sure, I'll make the darkness go away. <laughs> Anyways, so maybe this engine can talk to you. Uh... Do you know these engines? Uh, no. Never seen them in my entire life. <laughs> Anyways, I have to head back to the mainland soon. It's getting late. <laughs> uh, Daisy, can you move out so Connor and Caitlin can sleep here? Boko, did, did, did you just tell me to move out? Uh, I will not be treated like this piece of... Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh my! Oh! Oh me! Oh my! Boko, you little son of a... Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm leaving. Connor and Caitlin backed into the sheds after, after Daisy left. They were talking to Boko for a little bit. How are we going to get back home? I don't know. We'll have to figure out a way in the morning. As the engine settled down for the night to fall asleep... Oh, what a mess. What happened here? Oh, I can tell you exactly what happened, sir, puffed Harvey. Diesel, Eric, Burton, and Spencer decided to push the other engines off the track. Oh, Stopham Hat looked around. Oh, my. Gator was shoved through the back of the shed. Samson was pushed off the line. Bill was Bill and Ben's cars were pushed off. Everything was a mess. Huh. You guys must go to Arlesdale with Percy. There is some gravel waiting there to collect. And Diesel, Airy, Burt, and Spencer, that'd be the perfect job for you. Percy will show you how to do it. The engines hurried over to Sir Topham Hat. Sir Topham Hat stayed at the yards to clean up while Percy took the other engines up to Arlesdale. Percy was showing the other engines how to load the coal at the Arlesdale barrel chute. Then all of a sudden, the engines started puffing towards him. They bumped into Percy. Then the engines ran off. Come on, let's go, guys, hurry. Percy hit the buffers with a bang. <sighs> oh, no, this can't be good. Ah! Ah! Guys? Guys? Ah, oh, no.